Hello, hello. For those who are fan of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3, the latest Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Future Redeem update is now here and is now playable into your PC. So if you don't know how to do this, then this is the perfect video tutorial for you to watch because in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you everything you need to get started. So these are all the files that you need in order to start. And also, you have to install the latest build of Ryujinx Emulator. As of recording this video tutorial, the latest build is 1.1723. And I'm going to scroll down show you that I have Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and it runs perfectly well. So for those who don't know, Ryujinx emulator is a Nintendo Switch emulator that can play Nintendo Switch games as long as you have all of these files here that I have highlighted installed in Ryujinx emulator. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get Ryujinx emulators, okay? So to do this, open a web browser and just type in Ryujinx emulator to your browser, search for it, go to Ryujinx.org, that is their official website, click on that, then go to download tab, if you're using Mac, your Mac OS should be in Mac OS 11 or later version in order for you to install Regix. If you're Linux, you can get the installer here. And if you're for Windows, just like me, you can get the installer here. Since I have already installed Regix Emulator, the download, I'm just going to skip the download and installation process because the process is really easy to do. And installing this is really straightforward and anyone can do this. I'm just going to minimize it now. And then I'm going to assume that you have installed Regix Emulator. So run Regix Emulator now. This is your first installation, then you'll be met with certain errors saying that you'll need some certain files installed in Ryujin Simulator in order for you to run and play Nintendo Switch games. So what are those files? So these are the files that are needed. So these files are the Nintendo Switch firmware and the Nintendo Switch keys. And it should be both in version 16 in order for you to uh, run and play Switch games. And also, you will need to have Xenoblade Chronicles 3 either in NSP or XCI file format and also all of the DLC updates in order for you to play Future ED. So to do this, uh, if you're asking me where to get all of these files, I mean, uh, the legal way to get this is that you own an Nintendo Switch console and that you have modded it and have installed a custom firmware in it. Because if it has a custom firmware in it, it means that you can access your Nintendo Switch system files and have a copy of all the firmware files and keys files when you have access on it. And once you have access on it, just transfer them into your PC. So in order to get Xenoblade Chronicles 3, uh, you will also need to purchase the game legally so that you can digitally back up that game into an XCI or an SP file format. So if you don't have a Nintendo Switch or don't know how to mod or install a custom firmware, then I'm just going to save you the hassle and teach you where to get all these files. So in order for you to get all these files, I'm just going to leave a QR code here where you can scan it with your QR code reader. Once you scan it, then you will be redirected to the page where you can get all of these files here. So once you are inside, which is appworms.com, hover down into the middle part of the page so that you'll get the Xenoblade Chronicles free game and the DLC update. Once you have that, uh, download the firmware and the keys files, which can be found in the bottom part of the website. So be sure to check out the entirety of the website so that you will get all of these files. So once you have those files into your phone, just transfer them into your PC. Okay. So uh, let's install them now into your region simulator. So I'm going to assume that you have all the files, just like mine here. I put them into my desktop so that you can see this. I go to regions, go to a file, go to open regions folder, and then open system folder, and open this keys zip file here, and just drag and drop, copy and paste these files into this folder. This folder should be empty because it's your first installation. Now then close, and it's time to install the firmware of the switch. To do this, just go to tools, Go to install firmware, install a firmware from XCI or zip file, and then locate the firmware file. Hit open, and it will say that we have to install the firmware. Hit yes, and successfully installed. Okay, now go to system version here. You can see that 16.01 has been activated, and that is what we are using. You will know that it is successful because it will show all of your Nintendo Switch games and their game icons. You will know that you're using an old uh, firmware because it will not show the game icons for that game if it's a latest game. So that's why we need to update the firmware and keys in order to play future games, okay? So the next step now is to uh, optimize your Eugene simulator. To do this, just go to options, go to settings. So just pause the video and copy every setting that you see in this screen, okay? So be sure to copy everything. So the game directory is where you'll put your Nintendo Switch games could be anywhere into your PC as long as you know where it is. And the game should be in XCI or NSB file format in order for it to be detected. Okay, now go to input. It is better to use a controller rather than mouse and keyboard because mouse and keyboard is really hard to play using Switch games. So to configure, just go to player one, hit configure, connect your uh, controller. I'm using a pro controller from the Switch and it is set up accordingly to my liking, just like in 
a pro controller so if you have a playstation or xbox you can map them up accordingly here and then you should just set the dead zone into 0.20 percent so there'll be no drifting into your player so once done hit save i go to system again here just pause the video copy every setting as you see now go to the graphics tab this is the most important part so be sure to copy everything here so graphics backend multi-threading should be on graphics backend api should be vulcan to prefer gpu use your graphics card now the enhancements enable shader cache and enable macro hle resolution scale should be in two times resolution so that it will look sharper and much beautiful in game and i'm using 1440p monitor but if your pc cannot handle the two times resolution just go for the native resolution for the switch okay for me it's two times resolution post-processing effects should be none upscale but linear anisotropy filtering is auto and aspect ratio set to 16 by 9 and once done hit apply and save now it's time to update our xenoblade chronicles 3 to the latest version to do this just right click on the icon and manage title updates then here just locate the title update and you will have it here then hit save and to do the dlc update all you have to do is just do the same just locate the dlc files so right click and then manage dlc updates and do the same thing okay so that's how you do this so a little bit of disclaimer um i'm not going to show you a gameplay of xenoblade chronicles 3 future redeem because we all know that nintendo is real strict on this kind of content and they don't want it to be shown in the internet so if i show you a gameplay that this game is running into my pc then i will have some trouble with youtube they will take down my videos and my channel so i hope you guys understand on part but as proof of this video tutorial that it is working, I'm going to show you a little bit of boot up in the title screen to show you that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is running into my PC and it's now fully optimized. Okay, so my control is not detected. It will show you that kind of uh, error if you don't have the controller set. Hit OK. Okay, now. Let's wait for it. It is starting to boot up. loading so i'm just gonna blur the screen here so that nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their copyright strike into my channel and that my videos will not be deleted so once i am in the title screen i'm just gonna stop the emulation okay so here we go and i'm just gonna stop the emulation now as you can see by following my video tutorial, you will be able to play Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Future Redeem into your PC with no issues at all. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer all of them. Please do subscribe to my channel because this will help me out massively. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and goodbye for now.